Welcome to the Purdue Library's tutorial on the Shakespeare's Globe Archive Database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use the Shakespeare's Global Archive Database. This Adam Matthew database is a collection of documents that offers insights into the performance practice in the particular space of the reconstructed Globe Theater. You will find information on over 200 performances through prompt books, wardrobe notes, programs, publicity material, annual reports, show reports, photographs, and architectural plans. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Library's website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This will link to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Libraries. To find the Shakespeare's Globe Archive, go to the S section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. First, let's take a look at the main page. You may notice that this looks different from many of the other commonly used databases. However, it does have some similar features like basic and advanced searching. You can also find items by clicking on the documents, explore, or image gallery sections on the menu bar. For our search today, we will use the basic search and try one for Richard III. Now this will bring back over 1,000 results, which is a little too many to sort through. Luckily, to the left side of the screen, there is a way we can filter the results to narrow them down to a more manageable number. The menu allows us to narrow it down by date, play, document type, season, and more. For this search, we will refine the results to documents, for the play Richard III and programs. This will bring the results down to 10. From here, you can review the list to see which items will help with your research. Once you find what you are looking for, click on the title to open the item. At the top, you will see scans of the document that you are interested in, which you can click on to view a larger version of the image. You can also download an entire copy or selected pages as a PDF. There is also additional information about the item below the images. Some of this information includes links, which can help you find additional information for your research. One last tip. If you are needing more help finding items, click on the Explore tab towards the top of the screen. Here you will see three sections, essay and video interviews, interactive chronology, and collection guides. While all of these are very interesting to explore, if you click on the collection guides, it will offer information about each document type archived in the database. You can also go to that section to go through all of the items that fall into that category of the database. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you are looking for other databases similar to Shakespeare's Globe Archive, here are a couple to try.